All right, so here's what we've got. Quantity demand is 100 minus two times the price consumers pay. Start off at a price of 35. So over here is what things look like graphically. 35 is the price, you actually consume 30. The most that you'd be willing to pay is the vertical intercept and that's 50. What we're after is consumer surplus. Again, the idea is for each of these 30 units, they'd be willing to pay this much, what is along the demand curve, but they don't, they only pay 35. So the gap between those, the area of this triangle is consumer surplus. How do we find that graphically? It's the area of a triangle. One half base times height. So one half, the base is the amount that they're actually consuming. That's 30. One half times 30. The height is the difference between the vertical intercept and the price they're actually paying. So 50 minus 35. So one half times 30, it's 15, times another 15, for a grand total of 225. So that's how you find it mathematically. Now suppose that instead of 35 bucks for those 30 units, they were actually only paying 25. Okay, so then we would be picking up an additional rectangle that would also count as consumer surplus. So you take the area of your triangle, 225, and you add the area of the rectangle to it. So the area of the rectangle would be 35 minus 25, the height of the rectangle, times its length, again, the quantity of 30. So that's an additional 300. Add those two numbers together, you get 525. And that would be the value of consumer surplus for this demand curve and these different prices.